You are hereby advised that the tips, tactics, stunts, and tricks displayed on our videos are performed by professionals in controlled environments such as closed ranges. Do not attempt to duplicate, recreate, or perform any of these at home, as personal injury or property damage may result. The producer of this video is not responsible for any such injury or damage. Third knot we're going to talk about today is the figure eight follow through. Okay, the problem we have here. Okay, here's a figure eight on a bite. Okay, it's nice and clean. It's lined up. Bites, you know, a little bit smaller than a carabiner, but it's good to go. All the, the strands and everything look good. The problem we have is we have this awesome Zert coffee mug. Okay, and XP is XP zero zero one is downstairs right now, and I need to lower him this coffee mug. Okay, I, how do I do it? How do I attach this rope to say this coffee mug? Okay, figure eight on a bite. I'm not gonna be able to get it through there unless I break it off and have some, some glue or crazy glue to get that on. So we're gonna show you how to tie a figure eight follow through. We'll untie our knot, or we'll start with just a piece of rope, okay? And what I like to do, we'll start with that figure eight foundation. And when you do your figure eight foundation, leave a little bit of tail. You'll see why here in a second. So there's our figure eight foundation, right? Everyone recognize that. Again, the problem at hand is we need to be able to tie it around this handle. We need to get a piece of rope around there, tie a knot so that it secures it. Start with our figure eight foundation. Take the tail of the rope. We'll loop it through there, okay? So we're hooking that coffee mug handle. At this point, we need to figure out what to do with this tail so that we tie a knot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna follow it through, okay? We're gonna follow the rope back through itself and when we're done, we're actually gonna end up with a figure eight on a bite that's around the handle. So to do so, taking a look at the situation we have here, figure eight foundation, tail going through the handle. You can see the tail comes through there and it goes under. So that's where we're gonna start, okay? Again, the tail you can see goes under, up around. That's how we're gonna follow it. Starting with our tail, we're gonna push it through there, okay? You can see, now we're around the coffee handle, off to a good start, and we're following this around, okay? Looking at this rope here, we're following this one, you can see it goes down and around. Everyone see that? Down, under, and around. We're gonna do that. Here's our tail, we're gonna follow that through. We've gone down, we're gonna come up and over, again, following that rope, and now we need it to go down, under, and around like so. Okay, now what do we do? Now we're trying to figure out, we still gotta figure out where this needs to go. Following our rope, again, you can see it goes down, under, and around. That's what we're gonna do with the tail, okay? Don't try to get cheeky and pass it back through the handle. We don't care about that. We already have the handle cinched with the bite of the eight that we're creating. We're just worried about this tail, down, under, and around. So that's gonna go down, under and around, okay? Now we need a way to lock this off. Okay, how do we get this so that when we cinch it down, we're gonna have a nice knot here and this attached, okay? Again, following our rope, you can see it goes down, under, around, up, and through. That's what we're gonna do. Down, under, and around, bring it up, and then you're gonna pass it through right there. Okay, and at that point, Cinch it down. Don't pull against the coffee mug. These are awesome coffee mugs, but you'll blow that handle. Cinch it down. Dress it a little bit. And there you have your figure eight follow through. Our problem at hand was we couldn't get the bite over into, onto the handle, so we had to tie around it. And for you, uh, you savvy students out there, you can see at this point what knot did we just create there. It's a figure eight on a bite, but we did it in a follow through configuration. Again, style points matter. I have a couple cross strands here that I can clean up just by twisting ropes around to make it look a little bit nicer. Dress it down. Everything's nice and seated. Tail maybe an inch too long, but not too bad. Bite's okay. We're good to go. Zert is a worldwide membership-based organization that uses zombie as a metaphor for any natural or man-made disaster that could occur in our lifetime. 
Your zombie could be hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, a deadly force encounter, or civil unrest. Zert is about being prepared, trained, and most importantly, armed with the proper mindset to see you and your family through to safety. Zert is not just an organization. It's a lifestyle. ZertNation.com